Okay, this review is for the Samsung UHD TV. Uh, ours is curved, you can get a flat one too. Um, I just bought this yesterday. Now disclaimer, I'm not a TV person. I'm not familiar with all the specs and everything else that's going on. Uh, so I can't compare it to other TVs, but I can tell you my takeaways and what I think, and I really do like this TV. So let's get started with this YouTube video. I wanna take a look at this one just because he has a really good picture on it. So you can see how clear everything is. The colors are really good. Um, the sound is also really good. And uh, just take What's a YouTube, Zach, look for a second. Zach TV and welcome to episode number six of unboxing time. Mystery unboxings of cool tech. So you can see, I this is a really good picture. Um, I really like it. All the colors come out. It's very uh, crisp. And uh, let's see if we can go through another one here, just so we can get an idea of some color. We can get some color of it. I would pick that one, but I know it, how it starts. Let's see. Well, I'm not gonna go through all this, but it does have a good picture. We watched the fall last night, it was good. Um, I can tell you, I like the curve aspect. I think it just adds a little bit of depth, but um, but I can see flat too, flat looks good too. I was, I was looking at these at Costco yesterday and going back and forth, and I ended up going with the curve. Uh, it's just a slight curve. I, these come with it. These are part of the uh, base. I think they're actually, it's not like something you put in. I think it's actually part of the base. Uh, they look good. Uh, one problem I will say I had with it was the, um, the clean cable solution. If you actually run the cable through that, it can end up leaving the power cord a little bit short. So you might have to strategically place your TV very close to an outlet, or of course, just get an extension cord and then fix it that way. But that's just a minor, minor problem, um, easily resolved. Uh, the one thing I really don't like about this is that uh, Samsung gathers all of your information. It's, it's, a, it's a privacy advocate's nightmare. Um, they ask for everything. They want to know your location, your name, your birthday, your email, and uh, a lot of that stuff you can't opt out of. You can't say, you know, skip it. So that's the real problem is if, you know, they ask for the information, that'd be one thing. But on this, on the TV, actual TV setup, um, if I remember correctly, there was no way to skip all, of, skip giving them your information. So you have to create a, an account with Samsung, and uh, I really dislike that. So. Uh, a lot of points off for that. Um, if you are a privacy advocate, this TV probably, this is not for you, but then again, what smart TV isn't going to make you sign up? I don't know, I didn't buy them all, but I'm imagining that they all want you to give them your information. So that's a problem. Uh, it connected really easily to the internet. It connected through uh, Bluetooth on, on the cell phone. So it was super easy to connect uh, and get access to all of the, uh, the channels here. Now, what I'm going to try to do is show you the different settings uh, that you can put the TV to on because yesterday what happened was we were watching the fall on Netflix and we wanted to change the, um, we wanted to change the, the picture setting because it was too dark. And so, and so what we had to do was come here to picture mode and you can see, you can change the different ways. Standard's a little bit dim. Natural is even dimmer on here. There's movie, there's, it's actually dark, and then there's dynamic, which is really bright, so I really like dynamic. Um, so again, the picture looks really good. Uh, everything's clear. I like it. I was not used to the 240 motion rate. Uh, so what that does is it basically makes the picture more choppy. Um, the characters move faster. It's not like a, like a smooth, continuous motion. It's just like uh, the character's here and then all of a sudden the character's right here. It's hard to explain. It doesn't look bad. I think it does take some getting used to, um, but I wasn't familiar with, with what motion rate meant, but now I get it. Um, you will see 120, 240. Or this one's 240. Um, I don't have a problem with it at all. I actually like it. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else about this TV. I mean, otherwise everything is um, straightforward. I got it at Costco and it was $11.79. Uh, so, and then the, I know that the, right after right after their sale, they marked it up to $12.79. Uh, I believe that you can also get the same model on Amazon. So I will include links to Amazon. If you're not a Costco member, there'll be an Amazon link to this model or the closest thing I can find to it. 
and also the Costco. Uh, if you want to buy through Costco, I'll include a link to Costco. Um, one other thing I was going to mention, um, I just thought of it. Oh, this is a 55 inch TV. Uh, so as you can see, this, this is actually, we, we were coming from a 40, so this is a big step up for us. It looks a lot bigger. Um, if you're used to 65, 65 would probably, the legs of this or the, or the edge of this would be coming close to spilling over on the entertainment center. So I'm actually glad that we stuck with the 55 and I believe there's actually a 75 inch model too, if you want to get that. Um, but uh, this is the newest model. I think this is the 2017, there's a 2016. There are other cheaper models that look like it and have a lot of the same qualities, but uh, looking at them at Costco, they don't have everything this has, has, and the picture is not going to be as clear. I also like the stereo on this. The, the sound is great, especially coming from our last TV. The sound is a, a huge upgrade, so really good sound. I'll include my Amazon affiliate link below. I'll include the Costco link below, and if there's anything else, I will write it in the description if I can think of anything else. If there are any updates to the review, I will write them in the description. Uh, but overall, uh, this is, right now it's, uh, we're in uh, July of 2017. I really like this TV. And uh, again, the, one, the two drawbacks, the short cord for the, the Smart Connect, um, the hiding the wire, the, all the wires. I do like that it does hide the wires. It's just that it leaves the power, uh, the power cord a little bit short. And then uh, of course the privacy com concerns, which I'm not just going to gloss over just because the TV works. Uh, that's still something that I think that bigger companies should at least honor your wishes if you don't want to participate or at least give you the option, even if it's a hidden option to not opt in. But I didn't see that on the sign up. If someone wants to correct me, uh, please correct me below and let me know if you can opt out. And if you can, I will update that and I will update the description. Overall, I give this a B plus um, for straight performance. I would give it an A minus. The only thing that could be better is, you know, hope, you know, you always want the price to be better, but uh, you know, the QLED uh, picture is even better than this, but it's like a lot more expensive. It's it's a little bit more than double expense, uh, double the price of this. So um, for the QLED, yeah, the, the, the picture is going to be richer, uh, more vibrant, uh, even more color. But again, I mean, it, just the, the price versus the reward of getting a, 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 an upgraded picture, I didn't think it was worth it. And this picture is already really, really good. Like if you get this, if you get this TV, you will not be disappointed with the definition, with the sharpness or the color. It's really good. It's just QLED. It's just like right now it's, it's above, it's above this grade, but for the price, I think value wise, this actually wins out.